be amongst each other. We can't rely on the crowd or we can't rely on the ball going to the basket. Our energy level's down um, and we've got to create energy amongst each other. And I did think Unique and, and Chris being in foul trouble in the first half hurt us a little bit. Um, but I, I thought that, that our energy, our effort was completely dictated on whether or not the ball was going in the basket. And you know, I told our guys, I said, listen, we're settling late in the clock. We have opportunities to get down the lane and they're switching pick and rolls and use your quickness. You know, they've got a lot of strength, physicality. I thought we had a little bit of a quickness advantage there. We need to get in the lane more. We're not getting in the lane enough. We're settling for jump shots. And we went to a small lineup there late. I thought it was a great lineup for us. Um, you know, St. Joe's doesn't run a lot of pick, uh, post up action. So I knew that our guards would be okay playing on the perimeter defensively. And, um, you know, give our guys a lot of credit coming down the stretch there. I thought we had two terrific defensive possessions late in the game. And uh, everyone contributed. I think we went on a run there that went from down five to up five. I think Ray scored. I think CJ scored a basket. Carl hit a basket. Only person in that sequence that didn't score was Pip. You know, so you knew that, hey, listen, the, the game's the flow of the game, and these guys are doing a terrific job. And I thought that small lineup was really, really effective for us. For, um, was, they said you didn't practice that much. Did you kind of always have that in the back of your head? This is something, given what St. Joe's is, that you might go to? Yeah, I mean, we have some calls, numbers calls, based on who's the first number called. That's who's in a set of pick and roll. Um, so it's not very complicated. Um, and they kept switching there, and I wanted to space the floor, and we kept getting down the lane. Um, and again, I, I thought we had a little bit of a quickness advantage there at times. Um, obviously, I think that their size, physicality, and, and different things like that, but we were settling way too much in the first half. But that's a lineup that we need to work on. We need to work on more. Um, I also thought our guys did a good job. I mean, Newkirk is such a terrific player. He can score in so many different ways. Um, you know, he played 38 minutes in the game. I thought we wore him down a little bit. You know, the shots that he normally makes, maybe he got a little tired late in the game. I don't know. But um, we wanted to, to pick up full court there and make him have to work everything he was doing just because he's such a terrific player. It, it, it feel like the 16-point deficit was nothing compared to uh, having come up, come back from 22 the other night? No, nah, we've been in, like I said before, we've been in those type games. Um, it just takes us to settle down, uh, figure out what they're doing, adjust to it, and then just get back to the uh, style we play. And that's what we did towards the end of the second half. And, yeah. CJ, how does the mentality for everybody change when, when you're playing five cards? Oh, we know. Uh, with five cards, everybody has to be aggressive, number one. And, of course, on defense, everybody has to be talking, you know, making sure. You know, they do have bigs out there at the same time, so I mean, everybody has to walk up and play together. But on offense, that's really like our main thing. Like how you saw many guys that was just playing the five to set the screen for like me and the one. I mean, it's just about, you know, really mentality and just understanding that all the things that we need to do to win. Luan, you said you made some adjustments in the second half. What was the biggest difference? Um, I knew they was face guarding me, just flat out face guarding me. Um, so what I tried to do, what our coach tried to do, our whole team tried to do, we just tried to uh, put me in the ball screens um, and just slip them sometimes or just pop, try to get them confused. And once I got it, another ball screen came and get set for me. And that was just the last stretch. Uh, we, just, just tried, we just kept trying to do that. Uh, and it was working and we stayed with it. Early on, did you realize they weren't going to give you the three uh, looks of three that you wanted to? So were you thinking drive that much more often? Uh, not really. I mean, I was just trying to score regardless um, of how they was playing. Uh, we had to make some adjustments in the second half. Um, so, yeah, obviously I had, I had to start driving because there was big guards on me. They couldn't stand in front of me. So once I kept driving, either I'm driving to lay up or drive from my teammates. CJ, you, you lately you've been in a bit of a, a shooting slump from kind of all distances. When that three went down early, did that kind of take a little bit of weight off your shoulders? Oh, not really. Yeah, it's never like really just been, you know, dawning me. Uh, I just keep playing ball. So no matter what it is, I mean, my teammates they you know keep supporting me, telling me keep shooting the ball. Like Phil told me that right at the end of the half. And I mean, you know, just having them like talking to me the whole time. I mean, it doesn't matter if the ball can go in. I'm shooting the next one like I had the first one go in. CJ, when they when you went to the five guard lineup and they left the big out there, did your eyes kind of light up? Like, did you sense that that was an opportunity for you guys? Uh, I did a little bit. It was just depending on who he was guarding. And when I noticed at first, like, they were still playing the two bigs down there. I mean, it was just my chance of saying, like, just get down the lane and you can't get to the rim and score and find a teammate. So, I mean, it really, 
really helped us a lot because I mean playing the five guard lineup, I mean everybody's moving, everybody can knock down open jumps, and everybody can drive. So it really, really worked tonight. How, how much did you guys practice that since since Wednesday? The five guard lineup. Yeah. He didn't. Yeah, I don't really remember. <laughs> he just kept talking about it. Like, if it's five cards in the game, it's what we're going to do. Depending on who's on CJ or who's on Unique, who's on Ray. If a big is on any one of them, we just have them set the ball shit. Is it something that you have to be you, – you guys have pretty good basketball IQs among on the on the roster. Do you have to have that to, to adjust for something that you haven't really practiced? To be honest, um, yeah, to be honest, yeah. Um, <laughs> I just try to tell everybody, uh, depending on who's guarding them, to just go, just keep being aggressive. Like I was telling CJ, just shoot the ball, because in the first half I saw he was trying to be a little passive. I mean, that's what he do. But I told him, just just be aggressive, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's a bigger dude on you. He's a five man. He's slower than you to be aggressive. Like I said, you need to rate the same thing. So when we have five guards in the game, we can take advantage of whoever's guarding. Were you guys having fun playing that five guard system? Of course. Okay. You saw that. Um, you just saw us out there. I mean, like, that's what I love about our team the most, man. Like, it doesn't matter who's scoring. Like, I mean, when you see a guy knock down a shot, I mean, you can just look at our reaction. Like, everybody out there is just hype, like, enjoying the game, loving that each other is, like, scoring and playing good basketball. I and mean, just to see our, like, you know, our crowd and fans into it as well, I man. It really just, like, embraces us and makes us keep working. Guys, is something special happening here right now? This team, yeah. this team, does it feel like that this, that, this team, the way you guys have come together, the, some of the games you've won, the way you've won lately, does it feel like something special is happening? Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel what? like um, we're just starting to jail right now. And, um, we just got to keep working. We can't stop working. Um, we haven't even played some of the toughest teams in the conference yet, so um, we just got to hit the lab, hit the lab hard, stay focused, um, and just keep doing what we've been doing, man. Just stay together. So you hit the lab hard? The gym, practice. Jim's the lab now? Oh, yeah. It's been a lab. Get with the lingo, man. Luan, <laughs> <laughs> Lu- you had to know coming in here they were going to have, oh, in their lab, they were going to be conjuring up something to, to try to, uh, to shut you down. To, to have a 27-point performance to follow that, is that, is that feel pretty good? I mean, it feels good. I mean, um, I, was, I, just, I just kept being aggressive. I uh, kept driving, uh, just kept shooting the ball. And my teammates just told me, uh, it's going to fall, it's going to come, just keep playing your game. That's what I did. I came out with 27. I mean, overall, Jack, we got the win. Like I said, we got this one behind us, and we can focus on our life. When did you start wearing two different shoes and why? <laughs> um, I started wearing two different shoes to the sale game. Um, I, just, I just saw me have two pair of the same shoes, different colors. Like, uh, just go for it. And I went for it. And the teammates were like, oh, that's, that's nice. So I started feeling good about it. I mean, and I did it at 44. I did it now I'm superstitious about it. Now I gotta keep doing it. Are people are people gonna start around the country and want, wanting to match that now? Or is that, is I hope so. I, I hope this is on a trend. Um, if I don't, I don't. If I do, I do. <laughs> 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 Anything else?